class! Wednesday has always just made me a jumpy bearded history teacher. What am I talking about? I just taught you the first 10 presidents of the United States. Today we're doing history hacks with Hip Use History and Tom Ritchie. I'm sure you guys have all seen videos and articles on life hacks telling you to turn, take your old pants hanger and turn it into a bad clip. Where am I gonna hang my pants up now? Well today we're gonna do some hacks that are actually gonna help you in your American history class. Like the one that I did before. Wednesdays always just made me a jumpy bearded history teacher. Boom! There we go! Over the course of this video, you guys are going to learn tricks and tips and acronyms and initialisms to help you remember the things that American history students always forget. But before I go any further, I'm going to pass it off to Tom Ritchie. The Townsend Acts were passed by Parliament in 1767 and placed a tax on five imported items. Paper, paint, lead, glass, tea. Put those together and... Wait, that doesn't spell anything. <laughs> that was awesome, and it leads us to our next tip, which includes three documents that American history students always confuse. The Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation, and the U.S. Constitution. I'm here to tell you, just treat it like one of those CW teen dramas. First, the Declaration of Independence. D the I or dump the idiot. What do you mean you're kicking me out? Look at you guys, your relationship has run its course. Sure, it might have been good in the beginning and you might have loved each other at one point, but now it's time to break free. What was the last time you told me I was pretty? Could I at least get 20 bucks before I go? And what happens when you're single again? The Articles of Confederation, A of C, or Afraid of Commitment. Yeah, this guy may be a laugh or good for a fun time, but sooner or later, this is gonna happen. No, babe, we're totally going to the Olive Garden. I just gotta duck into my ex-girlfriend's place for about an hour. You don't mind waiting in the car, right? You purposely wanted something light with no strings attached? That's what you got. So then finally you move on to the United States Constitution or the document you should choose. Oh, <laughs> hey baby. I know you probably had a hard day, so I've taken the liberty of starting dinner for us. And I poured you a glass of wine. You can have it. No, you can't. No, I'm kidding. You can. You deserve it. It's your right. Look at this guy. He's stable. He's in it for the long haul. He's perfect. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask my slave. Okay, maybe not completely perfect, but just like with every girlfriend that I've ever had, you're saying to yourself, I can change him. So there you go. Dump the idiot, afraid of commitment, and you should choose. Three documents you should never confuse again. But while we're on the subject of the Constitution, let me ask you, Hip Hughes History, you got any ways to remember the Bill of Rights? Hey guys, Hip Hughes from Hip Hughes History. Let's hack up the Bill of Rights. Put ten fingers out with me and protect yourself. There's ten amendments in the Bill of Rights, and you're protecting yourself from the federal government. These ten amendments were added at the demand of the anti-feds. Let's use our hands. First Amendment, remind yourself there are five freedoms. We do freedom of speech and religion press, assembly, and petition. For the Second Amendment, bang, bang, I have the right to bear arms. Fourth Amendment, do knock, knock, it's the popo, need those search warrants. Fifth Amendment, you're under arrest, brother, and you have the right to remain silent, your due process rights. Sixth Amendment, touch your invisible watch. Remember, you have a speedy trial, you have trial rights, there's other stuff in there. Eighth Amendment, I do double nooses for the aid, it reminds me of hangman, I get to the death penalty, no cruel and unusual punishment. And for the Tenth Amendment, I kick that last chair in the Bill of Rights, reminding me it's reserved for the states, reserve powers, there you go, giddy up. Hack it up. Slow down, you move too fast. Click the playlist, the Bill of Rights for Dummies, and check out a video for each amendment, including the Bill of Rights hand game. Thanks, Hip Use. We've already learned the first 10 presidents. Now it's time for 11 through 21. Previously, the first place bad slip just gave him great alarm. It works. It's, it's stupid, but it works. Okay, so what about like the 1800s? What about like sectionalism and Western expansion and Tom Ritchie, take it away. After the War of 1812, we had a plethora of economic problems facing the country. And in comes Henry Clay, ready to nip these economic problems in the bud with his American system. Now, remembering what goes into the American system is just as easy as nip. National Bank, internal improvements, protective tariff. Again, National Bank, internal improvements, protective tariff. He's going to nip it in the bud. 
Speaking of Henry Clay, he was known as the Great Compromiser. So if any of you've ever listened to ACDC, think about Henry Clay, Great Compromiser, HC, GC. After the Mexican War, there was a lot of controversy over whether slavery should be allowed in the Mexican Cession, in this territory that we'd gotten from Mexico. David Wilmot, who was a free soiler from New York, someone opposed to the extension of slavery into the Western territories, put forward the Wilmot Proviso. And the Wilmot Proviso said that there will not be any slavery in the territories acquired from Mexico. Now, as you can see, his name, Will Mott, there will not be any slavery in these territories. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Actually, I didn't even come up with that one. Thank you, Bethany, for letting me use it. This is for those of you who can't seem to tell the difference between secede and succeed. Just a little spelling tip, S-E-C-E-D-E. -E. That's the way we spell secede. That's how we roll here in the South. Great, now let's do the next 11 presidents, but notice there's going to be 12 words, and let's ask the question, can hamsters clean my residence the way hamsters clean hamsters' residences too? Yeah, so you gotta remember, you got Grover Cleveland up there twice, the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms. What are you gonna do? Okay, so picking up from Tom Ritchie's Secede versus Succeed, we fight the Civil War, how do we remember Reconstruction? Hip use! All right, let's hack up Reconstruction. So the concept is called hugs and slugs, guys. If we get ourselves a Southerner, an ex-Confederate, a rebel, the concept is if you're Abraham Lincoln or Andrew Johnson, you want to hug the South. You want to bring the South back into the Union. All is forgiven. Maybe a 10% loyalty oath, maybe the 13th Amendment, and we can do kissy and make up. But if you're a radical Republican, if you're Thaddeus Stevens, one of these radicals that controlled Congress, you don't want to hug the South. You want to slug the South. The concept is that you want to punish the South for leaving in the first place, but you also want to be harsh in terms of making sure we're going to protect black freed rights. You want the 13th Amendment, the 14th Amendment, the 15th Amendment, which is going to not only free African Americans, but it's also going to give them equal protection from their states, eventually. It's going to give them citizenship and black men the right to vote. So remember, hugs and slugs, it's so easy I could cry. If that wasn't enough for you, we have the hugs and slugs, the longer version, guys. Click that video, it'll open up for you and fill you with vocab from the Reconstruction days. That was great! Let's finish up the presidents with a song! Evil kittens just need fire, can't resist burning consistently. Burn on! No, 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 stop the music, I can't let you go yet. Make sure that you subscribe to Hip Use History. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Make sure you subscribe to Tom Ritchie, the mouth of the South. And while you're at it, if you haven't already done it, subscribe to me, Mr. Betts. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow Hip Use on his Twitter address. I'll put it here. Tom Ritchie, I'll do the same over here. Don't forget to like and share. Be safe, and we'll see you next time.